This is a problem that is asked us to solve the system of equations by elimination. Again, you can pick either the x variable or the y variable to eliminate. Uh, on this one, let's go ahead and pick the y variable. And if you look, you have six, the one coefficient of 6, the other of 4. So to deal with this, we need to find the least common multiple. Well, the least common multiple of 6 and 4 is actually 12. Um, there are some good tutorials on finding the least common multiple uh, on the internet if you want to some help with that. So we want the um, least common multiple of 12, so we need to multiply the top one by 2. And we're going to multiply it by positive 2. Um, then the bottom one we're going to multiply by 3. Uh, and also by positive 3 because one's po the 6 is positive, the, the uh, 4 is negative. So we multiply the entire top by 2, so we get negative 8x plus a positive 12y equals a positive 52. So we multiplied all that by 2. Now the bottom, we're going to multiply by 3, so 3 times 5 is 15, so 15x. A negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12y. Now you can see how things are going to eliminate 12y, negative 12y. And the negative 22 times 3 is a negative 66. When we add these two together, um, the 8x and the 15x, well, the signs are different, so you subtract, and it gives you a positive 7x. The 12y minus 12y just goes away. You can just cross that out. You don't actually have to write down 0y. Um, 52 minus 66, though, will give you uh, negative 14. So you get 7x equals negative 14, which is very easy to solve. Uh, divide both sides by 7, you get x equals negative 2. Now we need to just go back and do the same process we've done over and over again, which is find the y value. You plug in negative 2 for x. Uh, it doesn't matter which equation you pick. I'm just going to pick the first one. So I put in negative 2 in there for x plus 6y. Now we solve. So negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. So that gives me 8 plus 6y equals 26. Uh, then we subtract 8 from both sides. So that uh, gives us 6y equals a or 6y equals a positive 18. Divide both sides by 8, 6, and you get y equals a positive 3. So our solution to this problem is x equals negative 2, y equals 3, and we write it as an ordered pair. Now, we also can check, um, we, we want to do this after each system of equations problem just because it's so easy and can really help us out. I put in negative 2 for x, 3 for y. And you're going to have 6 times 3, plus neg positive 26. Well, negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18. Well, yes, 8 plus 18 does equal 26. Now we do it for the bottom equations, 5 times negative 2 minus 4 times 3. We got to see if that equals a negative 22. Well, 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10 minus 4 times 3, which is 12. So negative 10 minus 12 does equal a negative 22. So that is correct. So that means since it satisfies both equations, it means it is our solution.